Hey guys, it's Shauna and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tie-dye. Totally unique, completely not ever been done before. I feel like everyone probably already knows how to tie-dye if they did it like as a kid or if they're doing it now because it's like trendy or whatever. But I guess here I am to show you how to tie-dye again and to add to the plethora of tie-dye tutorials already out there on YouTube. So yeah, let's just get started. I found these digis on Amazon. I know we hate Jeff Bezos, but I did order from Amazon, sorry. Um, and they're white dickies and they fit me really nice and I really liked them but I got them to tie dye them brown So if like you open up TikTok or Pinterest once then you know like brown is literally everywhere and is like the most trendy color right now And I will have to say I'm a sucker for brown So I tie dyed these pants brown and they turned out so good Yes, I am making this intro video after I filmed everything else but it's just, it's like that sometimes. So yeah, anyways, I saw like pants on Depop kind of like these and was really inspired by them. So I wanted to tie dye them brownish, I guess. And they turned out really good and I'm really excited to wear them. So I guess like, let's get started. I hope this like video is cool to watch even though you probably already know how to tie dye. But yeah, let's just, let's just get started. Okay, so after I had tried on my pants and danced around in my bedroom for a little bit, I moved on outside. I put down a blue tarp to make sure not to get the dye everywhere on my sidewalk, but pro tip, make sure that it's a thick tarp because I think this one's from the dollar store and it bled through really quickly, so I don't think there was a point in me putting a tarp down anyways. I first started by scrunching up the pants and securing them with elastic rubber bands. I'm using like the scrunch ruffle technique. I don't know, I think that's what like the tie-dye moms call it. But basically all you do is wrinkle up the item of clothing, so in this case, a pair of pants, and then secure it really randomly with rubber bands. I used like a whole bag of rubber bands to make sure it stayed all secure and wrinkly. And basically I just folded the pants fabric onto itself in little like ruffles. And then I also just like scrunched it up with my fingers. I don't know if that made sense, but there's no really like rhyme or reason to it. I don't think you just want to get some like ruffles and texture in there. And you want to do that to the entire pants. So both pant legs and like the waistband and crotch area. For this, I used the RIT dark chocolate tie-dye and I didn't buy a little spray bottle even though that would make it a lot easier. So I used an old travel size shampoo container. I added some water and tie-dye in no specific measurement to the container and then shook it up. I then struggled to put these gloves on. Like this is embarrassing considering we're in a global pandemic, but I'm gonna blame it on my hands being a little bit wet. After I got the gloves on, I then started pouring the dye mixture onto the fabric and then rubbing it in with my fingers. I did this until there was like no white visible at all. I wanted to get it in the cracks and everything because I didn't want any parts of the pants being white. I wanted them to like be light brown and dark brown and stuff like that, but not white at all. So I reached down like into the cracks and even added some dye in there as well. After I was done dyeing it all, I put it in a plastic bag and let it sit there for 24 hours and then rinsed it out in my tub. I rinsed it as well as took off all the rubber bands and you want to make sure you get all the excess dye out of there. I was worried because it started looking a little bit purple more than brown, but after I let it dry, it definitely turned brown, so do not fear if yours looked a little bit purple as well. After letting them hang dry outside for a couple hours, this is how they turned out, and I am absolutely obsessed. Still turn 